It all begins with a seed, a seed that is supported by the gifts of our natural world, a seed that reaches up and roots down, a seed that turns into a tree of life, a tree that grows deep into the ground, the ground our ancestors once walked upon, our ancestors who hold the answers, answers I'm still trying to figure out. One thing I do know is cedar is rooted into the lifeblood of our nations. It holds great energy and has seen more than we ever will. Cedar will stand tall, live long, and then fall dead back into the earth. And once again, it will grow from our mother, giving of its life to be utilized, to gain new life as a canoe, as a means of transportation allowing for communication. As it falls to the end of one life, it brings about the Gilwa. Prayers are offered up as we look to our ancestors, ancestors who hold our past and our truth. Only then can we begin to look to our future. For now, shall we continue to journey? An experience words reach to describe. A connection that binds us to one another, to the land and to the sea. Connections that were so deeply embedded in our way of being. We reach for that feeling and begin our healing. The anticipation grows inside of me. Dawn breaks and we pull forward for the journey of a lifetime. One stroke, one heart, one mind. Smiles, fears, and tears are highlighted by the drums, giving the Gilwa strength, filling the pullers with love, the love we will lean on, the love we will depend on, crashing through the waves, allowing the water to cleanse our minds, bodies, and souls, the wind brushing away our pain and breathing life into our being, dancing with the whales and playing with the porpoises, Gaia tells place name stories of the mountains and the bays, on our journey through Halsic waters into the lands of our brothers and sisters to the south. To share in song, dance, and celebration. Day after day, our colorful tent community goes up, down, up, down. From res to res, from funerals to family reunions, we take in every aspect Indian country has to offer. Songs start to sound different as we cross from the Kwakwakiwak territory into the realm of the Coast Salish. Our family continues to grow with each nation that joins the journey. Our hope grows as we see pride beaming across the faces of our people. We will be on the water for 32 days, camping for five weeks, traveling over 900 nautical miles and the whole time representing the Helsic nation with pride. We are a canoe family, pulling to heal, pulling to feel, pulling to hope, pulling to reinforce nation to nationhood bonds. All my relations, all their relations, they welcome us upon their lands with open arms, wrapping us with wisdom and strength. We all need people to share in love, compassion, and those who help ground us in who we are. After all, when you know who you are, you have pride and a place within this massive world to call your own, something you belong to. You feel that connection strengthening in your being. You have a place. Now that is a special thing. Now don't get me wrong. It takes time, dedication, and the achievement should not be underestimated. In order to just participate, much is needed. A support boat, people willing and able to give of themselves, and their time, monetary funds, and the list goes on and on and on. Everyone has a job and must partake for the functionality of a canoe family to work, an experience of communication and cooperation I will never forget. One could say an emotional roller coaster of sorts, pushing my limits and then pushing and pushing all the wrong buttons in all the right ways going beyond the physical, psychological, and emotional boundaries I once had, reaching further and further, feeling my support system growing stronger and stronger, pulling together as the Gilwa flows with the water, pulling together for revival and survival. Picking up the pace, as we unite, we grow strong. There was a time when the Halsic were fierce canoe builders. There was a time when fur traders observed more Gilwas than people in our villages. There was a time when the colonial state banned native culture. There was a time of disconnection. There was a time when the Halsic led the reawakening of canoe culture on the Pacific Northwest Coast. And now it is our time. 
and I'm grateful for the resistance and the persistence of those who came before me. To be born an Indian in North America is a political act in and of itself. To be born into a time of state control and into obscene societal structures. To the colonial state control. Do you feel so powerful to have the ability to withhold truth? Do you feel so cowardly you have to bind minds of mainstream Canadian society? You preach an untrue history of a mythical starting point that never was, of vast, empty, untouched landscapes. All to keep the silence in the face of the injustice you call Canada. Does the need to gain control of my life and my land come from your ancestors? Or can you feel the dismantling of your colonial state power? As Native people, we are born into responsibility to assert our modes of political and social order. An order grounded in a way of being in culture and tradition. I'm pulling for my own reality. I'm pulling to steer clear of my own complacency. I'm pulling to break perpetual cycles of colonial dysfunction you have tried so hard to push down my throat. I'm pulling to have a moment to be and just breathe. Now we must pull together as Native people or continue to be pulled apart. Our people have lived on this coast since time immemorial. The ocean is our natural highway, the only way in and the only way out. What was once my trap is now my escape to experience the place I have lived in a whole new way, to be forced to a steady pace when my mind is all but steady. With each stroke, I'm strengthening my relationship to place, deepening my appreciation for all the beauty our world has to offer. Alas, we have reached our final destination. A weight falls to my side. A joy fills my beating heart that races to stay in tune with the drums. As the ocean lights up bright green with every crash of every wave. Feeling the warmth of the fire, or is it the warmth of my people? Twirling amongst the fish, sparkling in the moonlight, and glowing bright green. Allowing the water to cleanse, to purify, and make me humble. A journey of a lifetime. And once again, we wait upon the Helsic shores for your arrival. A relationship of reciprocity, with open arms and open hearts, with love Peace and Ulic in Greece. Oi, oi. <laughs>